Hey there, Julian from Emberstack here, and I'm going to show you how you can add a working Google sign up to your site, just like this one that we see here. As you can see, if I click continue with Google, it is going to show me the Google sign up screen. So let's get started. First things first, you are going to need three things. You are going to need, obviously, your Webflow site, and you're going to need to have your sign up form with your styled continue with Google button. <laughs> then you're going to need a Memberstack app. All you need to do is go to memberstack.com and create an app. Steps are very simple. Everything is fully guided. The next thing that you're going to need is to have a Google Cloud project. So all you need to do is Google Google Developer Console, and then it should be the first result. And it's going to ask you to sign in, and then it's going to ask you to create an app. So here we are on that screen right now. And let's just go ahead and call it Test App leave these as is and let's click create. So now that we have that, it will take us to most likely this screen right here with nothing of immediate use to us. Now let's go and click OAuth consent screen. And the next thing we're gonna wanna do is select external just like that and click create. Next, give it a name, just call it test app, or I'll call it that, you probably shouldn't. Select your email for support. And then all of this stuff, it's gonna ask you for a logo. And then for authorized domain, what you're gonna to wanna to make sure to do is enter memberstack.com. Even if your domain is different, add memberstack.com. Then for developer contact information, just enter your email. So there we go. And then you're gonna to wanna to click save and continue. So the next thing it's gonna say is scopes and Sounds confusing, don't worry about it. All you need to do is click add or remove and select the first three options just like that. This is just saying what you're going to need to share. Then click update, all good. And again, click save and continue. Test users, this is important while testing. Right now I don't need it. So I'm gonna click save and continue. Summary is all good. Now let's go ahead and click back to dashboard. So. Here we are, and now all we need to do is get our credentials. So let's do that now. So the next thing that we're gonna do is go over here to credentials and click create credentials. Then we're gonna wanna select OAuth client ID, just like that, and select our application type. It is a web application, whatever name you want test web app and for authorized redirect URI. Go ahead and click add and then we're left with this blank field. What we're gonna wanna do is go over into member stack and go to our settings. Then we have this auth providers button right here and we can see Google. Let's go ahead and click configure and copy that. So now that it's copied, let's go back over into here and paste that in. Now let's click create. So. Here is our client ID and our client secret. You're gonna to wanna to keep these private. Um, this is just for testing and it's gonna be deleted in a second, so it doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and copy that, go back on into member stack, paste in the client ID, paste in the client secret, and click save. So everything is done on that front. And the final thing to do is to go into your Webflow site find the button which is in your signup form. If you don't know how to create a member stack signup form, we have another video for that on our channel. The only other thing that you are going to need to do is select the link that you've placed in your signup form and click social auth type and then click Google. So that is it. Once you do that, you will have a totally working Google signup form on your site.